So how do you set up Sentinels of the Multiverse Definitive Edition? Well, first, you pick a boss that you want to face off against. So in this battle, I think we're going to fight Apex, the werewolf. Placing that deck in the center of the play area is usually ideal. Then find the character, the boss character card from the character card list. So we'll find Apex King by Right of Claw. So this character, you find the side that has the setup on it. The setup is printed on the side here. And you place that beside the deck. Then lay out a number of character play areas equal to the number of heroes that you're going to play with. You must play with between three and five characters for the game to work. So with two players, one or more of the players has to play with two different characters. In this game, we're playing with two, and I think both of us are going to use two characters. I'm going to try out Alpha, who is the new character that we've not seen before in Sentinel's content. Grabbing her deck and her character card. She is also a werewolf, so I figured this is fitting. She'll also be the nemesis to this boss, so there is a little bit of story. I'd like there to be a little bit of story involved. So it looks like she got attacked by and turned into a werewolf by probably this boss, story-wise. So I am going to go with Setback as my second character. Setback is one of my favorites. He is extremely unlucky, and his unluckiness leads to all sorts of different stories. So I am going to grab Setback there, and we'll just go with the basic card. So the basic Setback here, Play the top card of your deck, pretty simple. He is a very tanky character with some new mechanics. All right, I am going to take Expatriate because she is one of my favorites. So it'll be cool great to see a new rendition of that. So there's the new Expatriate card. Expatriate deals one target, two projectile damage. You may play one item card. Again, yes. a lot better. It used to just be play one card. And then I will try out the new Mr. Fixer. All right. He always felt a little bit weak. We didn't really end up getting a lot of play with him in the original. Yes, he was very hard to set up and relied on others to get good and just wasn't good enough compared to other guys that got better, right? So we'll see if this new version is more playable. Uh, his power is Mr. Fixer deals one target two melee damage and you may collect a tool card. So collect is search your deck. That's cool. Sweet. If you want, there are these to these cards that will label out what each of the new terms means. They did update a bunch of the terms. Uh, instead of fully listing it out, it just says summon instead of search your deck or trash for it. And like they got rid of a huge chunk of text, but that does mean you need familiarity with what each of the terms means. You'll get used to it as you play, but it's nice to have that off to the side. Grab the boss character card toke, uh, tracker, health tracker, and set it to the boss's current health. So this guy is at 50, so we do five and zero. You'll need to go to your original Sentinels Definitive Edition game and find each of the character card trackers. So we need four of these. Purple and blue. Purple and blue. Oh, I thought you wanted green. I, I automatically assumed you wanted green. <laughs> All right, so green I will use for my alpha. She's got 32. I feel like I'm very tanky, 32 and 30. Yep. 29 and 28. All right, from this, try and grab your additional tokens. So you want your plus one damages, your minus one damages, your minus one damage taken, all of the little tokens that are useful. Get your additional point trackers just in case you need them. And that should be all we need from this box. Oh, there's one more baggie of tokens. That should be all we need from this box. Last thing we do is we decide what environment Setback, Fixer, Expatriate, and Alpha are squaring off against Apex. So we're going to go to our environments list. We've got the Diamond Manor. Pike Industrial Complex, The Realm of Discord, Rook City, 
or the Temple of Zhulong. Diamond Manor is new. Let's try that it out. Seems werewolfy. That's probably where this guy actually hangs out. Diamond <laughs> Manor. So let's see if this is a werewolf themed adventure. So we do need to, this is our first time playing with these, we'll need to give them a good shuffle out. So we'll do that quick. Once all your decks are shuffled and you have your cards laid out with the build and play area, environment play area, and then the number of hero play areas that you were dealing with, you are ready to actually play the game. So quickly read the boss's setup. In this case, the setup is discover H minus two. So that's heroes minus two, which is two. Werewolf cards. Discover means we flip from the top of the deck until we see them. So Apex, we're going to flip. That's an ongoing. One shot, one shot, ongoing, ongoing. Werewolf, one. And one shot, vampire, werewolf, two. So we've got Flint and Gumbo are going to be out in the play area for us to fight off against. Gumbo? Gumbo. <laughs> Shuffle this up again. Once Discover is done, always shuffle the deck. Put that down, and then you are ready to play the game. So that is the setup for Sentinels Definitive Edition. I hope you enjoy if you get it and you have a fun time playing this awesome game.